All right, we're here with Chris Hawkins, cornerback for USC. And uh, Chris, I've been talking to you know, guys like Sua, uh, some of the coaches, some of your fellow players uh, throughout this, this fall camp here in 2014. And they've all mentioned you as a player that has developed the most since last year. Can you just talk about that? You're, you know, what, what you've worked on to get to this point to where you know, you're know you a ma major part of the defense now? Yeah, uh, you know, I worked a lot on my body and stuff. You know, I had a, uh, when I first came, I was 160, 69 pounds, but my body wasn't right. I, I really had no muscle, anything of that nature, and I was slow. So I took the red shirt year and I ran with it. I got my body right. I got uh, the mental aspect of the game. I worked on that a lot. You know, I got in uh, my, uh, film a lot, even help some of the older guys when they were playing. So, you know, I just I just took the red shirt year, ran with it, and, you know, the, and I came out of it like this. Okay. And uh, for, for a lot of fall camp, you, you were starting with, you know, the ones, and, and then all of a sudden now it's it's kind of Kevon and, and, and Josh, but you're, you're going to play a major role in this defense this year. Right? Can you tell us about that, what you've talked about with the coaches? Yeah, actually, uh, the coaches actually they they put out a depth chart. A depth chart. Uh, the coach Hayward showed us a depth chart on uh, might have been two days ago, the day after the scrimmage, our last scrimmage. Okay. And he he had me and Josh as the starting corners. Okay. And Kevon back backing me up, and then when we go nickel, Kevon and Josh are the corners, and I go to the nickel spot. But just in practice, we're doing a lot of you know rotating, trying to get everybody familiar with the Fresno State uh, with the Fresno State offense and a lot of and a lot of reps to be shared. It's going to be a lot different than it was last year yeah. when you guys at, at times were playing 12 guys on defense. Yeah. I mean, do, is there a number that you you expect to be able to to put out there on the field this year uh, as far as uh, the defensive players are concerned? Like, is is it high as you know, 18 to, tw to 20? Uh, it it, it could be somewhere up to there. I know we got like two sets of D linemen. Yeah. We got uh. We got two sets of, of, of DBs that are all great. You know, Matt Lowe's, John Plattenberg, they both stepped in and made a, a big contributions at safety. Jonathan Lockett, Dory Jackson, with me along with uh, Josh and Kevon, we're, we're all we're all great back there, and we all know what we're doing. So you know, I feel like there's there's a lot of guys that could play on this defense, and we won't miss a, a, a step. And you mentioned the guys. Uh like Plattenberg and Adori and, and, and so on. And you, you yourself, you know, you're a young player yourself still. Yeah. Um, at the same time, do you feel like that you're somewhat a leader in some sense with some of these younger guys a little bit uh, and trying to help them, uh, you know, adjust to this far different yeah. style than it was playing in high school? Yeah, you know, I, I see myself as a leader and I lead, I lead by example. You know, I don't really... I don't really say much to too many people, but I, you know I lead by what I do on the field and off the field. Like I, some of the young guys, like Jonathan Lockett, they 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 see me in my playbook all the time, and then you know they'll come up and ask me some stuff about the defense, and I let them know right off the bat because I I know this defense like the back of my hand. So you know I lead by example. What are some of the 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 important themes, whatever you want to call it, that, that Coach Hayward? preaches to you guys in order to become the best player that you can be? Uh, technique and discipline. I mean, you got to be disciplined because you got you got to be able to uh, do certain things in this defense. Like we, we do a lot of checks and a lot of look offs, so you got to be disciplined. And your technique, he, he considers his health, his self to be a technician when he played. So he wants all of us to be technicians as well and not just running, running out there on natural uh, athletic ability. And watching you at the practices that I've been to, it seems like you know you're the most consistent player making plays on the defensive backfield. Yeah. Um, where are you in regards to your satisfaction level on where you've gotten to at this point? Uh, you know, I'm not satisfied just yet. You know, I just I still want to be great. I want to be one of USC's first, you know, first defensive back, first uh, first rounders. Mm -hmm. So it's something that I got to work on. The whole time I'm here, I can't get satisfied, and, and even if even if I do start all, the, all throughout the whole year, I, I'll come back in spring and act like I'm a third a third string player. So my satisfaction level is nowhere close okay. to that. Okay. Do you feel like your your chances of becoming the type of player that you want to be, as far as being a, a first round draft pick, um, were increased when Hayward came on board 
in his coaching acumen for, for, for coaching cornerbacks versus Clancy, who was more inclined to be a guy that coached safeties? Uh, uh, yeah, I do, because, you know, uh, Keith Hayward, he's, he's actually he's a cornerback's coach. You know, he coaches us, he gives us uh, techniques that we didn't get with Clancy. You know, Clancy was more of a, he's more, I would say he's more of an NFL guy. You know, he, he's, he's, he's already expecting you to, to be able to stick somebody man on man without, teach, without teaching you. So, you know, Hayward, he gets specific with the little things. So, you know, I feel like he's going to, I'm going to benefit from him a lot while I'm here. Does, does it help you guys, too, in that he can kind of show you yeah. what you need to do versus tell you what he would like you yeah. to do? You know, Coach Hayward, when, we, when we're uh, working on our techniques over there on, on a defensive field, you know, he, he gets out there and, and he shows us how he played it when he played. You know, he, he does the feet work, the hand movements and everything with us. So, you know, Coach Clancy, he just wanted you to do it. He didn't really, nothing against him, but he, he didn't really, you know, know any super techniques at cornerback. So it was a lot of guys last year was playing off natural ability. All right, we won't, we won't keep you much longer here, but uh, you guys have a game coming up here pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's, your, what's your excitement level knowing that, you know, you're, you're going to be coming out of that tunnel yeah. and not just standing on the sideline, yeah. man. You know, it, <laughs> it can't come fast enough. I'm ready for it to come. The night before, I'm not even going to lie, I probably won't be able to get no sleep. Which, yeah. you know, it's something that I've dealt with even when I was in high school after my, uh, my first varsity football game. So, you know, I'll just take it uh, one day at a time, not not looking too forward into it. You know, just got to keep studying, getting in the playbook, and hopefully when the time comes, we'll be ready. All right. Chris, thank you very much. Congratulations you. on where your hard work's gotten you. Thank you. All right.